Welcome to night one of the Nashville Film Festival's music program. Really excited to be here. I'm Heather Cook. I am the senior music event producer for the Nashville Film Festival. I'm also the director of marketing brands at Pure Music. And I have Liz here. Yes, I'm Liz Rogers. I'm the associate music event producer with the Film Festival, and I am the creative director at Anacrusis. And we are here at Acme Feed and Seed, which is downtown Nashville, right in the heart of Broadway, right on the river. A beautiful location for these showcases. Um, We're kicking off tonight with uh, the start of our music program, 13 amazing artists. All of them are incredibly diverse and incredibly talented. That's what we're excited about. So the whole point of our showcases here is to help to bring the diversity of music from Nashville to the music supervisor community to help them get opportunities, which we've had a number of things placed as a result of the film festival over the last 15 years. Um, Things from T-Mobile to Disney to various TV shows and commercials. So it's so it's one of those opportunities that all of our artists here in town want to be a part of. Yes, and all of these artists are Nashville-based artists. Um, they're all here recording, uh, pre-taping these segments here at Acme for you that you'll be seeing in the next, like, today and tomorrow, today and tomorrow. Yeah. Um, which is super fun. And all the artists represent different genres and uh, represent different companies here in Nashville, all of which you probably know, you know, Pierre and Anna Cruces and companies like that. So it's really fun. Yep, and these are really simple. They're going to just sing one song for you, and you're going to get a really great taste of who they are as an artist, what their sound is, and whether you can use it in something that you're using as a music supervisor. Yes, trust me, you won't have ear fatigue. This evening will fly by. It's going to be so much fun. We've had a chance to see some of these performances while they were pre-taped, and they're incredible. So please enjoy. Yes, have a great time. Hello everybody, we're the Lone Bellow, and this is Good Times. He's always leaving early, and he always shows up late. He's a good one, still trying, let's no good times slip away. Gives a bad hug in the morning, breaks up fights outside of bars. Takes whiskey neat, coffee cheap, and never liked the scars. Oh, he's wrestled down his demons, broke the fall of all his friends. Quotes the Bible and the Koran, has a heart of 15 men. Never wonders what you're doing, never needs the words to say. There's some good ones still trying, there's no good times in the way. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Slow dance with an opera singer on the stage after the show. Prayers the same prayer every supper. Rolls his cigarettes real slow. Keeps a knife inside a pocket. Keeps a pen inside a coat. Keeps the words close to her heart. Keeps that letter that she wrote. He can calm a newborn baby, save his own life in a flood. Been tied up by Chinese pirates, spent the night in his own blood. Hung a hammock in the jungle, loved one woman all his days. There's some good ones still trying, there's no good times to the way. Looking for a fight. Only tells his stories if you stay up late into the night. Dance for rain with the Apache, had Hell's Angels on his side. Took confessions from a corner, held him down, made him cry. The first one you call on, the last one by your side. Lots of soldiers in the airport, not one for long goodbyes. He's not afraid of crying, never one to look for praise. There's some good ones still trying, there's no good time to slip away.
All right, we are back. Lone Bellow, guys, that was amazing. So good to be here safely in person. That song was Good Times. Uh, my name is Daniel Higby. I'm with uh, Dual Tone Music Group. Um, Lone Bellow, Dual Tone Artist. We just heard yeah, a stripped down version of Good Times from their album, Half Moonlight, produced by Aaron Desner of The National. Um, so cool to be here talking about that, seeing you guys perform again. Um, yeah, any, any, any thoughts on it? Anything? On the record? The uh, no, but we love you, <laughs> and we love music supervisors. And this is the first time we got to sing into a microphone in a long time, so thank you for that opportunity. Uh, yeah, it's a song called Good Times. Uh, it has a lot of words, so good luck with that. But we have other songs that have less words that are better emotionally for, you know, dramatic, <laughs> like Yellowstone. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Casper. I'm the creative director and artist manager over at Warehouse West Entertainment. And I am so proud to announce um, the next act on the lineup, Maggie Miles. She's an artist from Round Hill, Virginia, who just moved here about a year ago. And you're going to hear her single, I'm Always Smiling When I'm Crying About You, from her debut album, Am I Drowning or Am I Just Learning How to Swim? And the other writer on this song is Tolan Shaw, who you will also be hearing tonight. We hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Thank you for watching Maggie Miles. That was her song, I'm Always Smiling When I'm Crying About You. She will also be releasing another single called Costume Party, which comes out on October 13th. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Hey, what's up? I'm Carter Vale. This is all my friends and roommates, and we're about to play Love 15 off my new EP, The Interstellar Tennis Championship. Uh, it is about a lot of things, and I wrote it in the middle of quarantine, so I was going a little crazy. Uh, and that's why I wrote a, an EP about space and tennis. And now we're here. <laughs> I guess now we're... <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I can be your third man doll Just a symptom you've forgotten You slip me in your pocket Turn off the television on Set me in the corner now In Technicolor's your pet Oh, won't you hear me out? You're painting on my features I'm everything you needed Don't put me on the shelf, no Thanks for tuning in. Wow, what a fun song. Serious like Rex Orange County vibes there. Thank you so very much. fun. Yeah. Um, so Carter Vale is with us. I'm Liz Rogers um, at Anacrusis. And uh, yeah, so tell us a little bit about like what's on the horizon for you guys. Obviously, this is a weird season, but yeah. you mentioned an EP. Yeah, I have an EP coming out. Uh, it, the full thing is going to be out on the 25th of September. Uh, it's called the Interstellar Tennis Championship. Um, 
aside from that, we're just trying to put out more music. Uh, we're in the works with recording a couple other things. We do a, a bunch of production for other people, and we're, we run a little studio called Happy Camper. And yeah, you know, just, just living through it. I That's what it. we do. Yeah. Well, by the time you guys see this, that EP will be out. Um, so yeah, fun. It, um, I'm sure it'll be out everywhere. Um, we'll make sure to send it to you as well. So yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for being here with us. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, what an amazing evening it's been already so far. Before we dive into our next few performances, we wanted to just chat with you about some of the exciting programming we, we have tomorrow. Yeah, so we have a number of panels, obviously, that are coming up. We have the download, the upload, um, and two panels in particular that have become really popular at our events, the case study. Um, the last couple of years, we've done it as one panel. This year, we're splitting it up to do two panels. Uh, so the case study is a really deep dive into how music supervisors make their decision about selecting music for their spots. Yes, it's one of my favorite panels because it's something that even as a professional, I feel like I'm constantly learning from. And it's so much fun to see. They actually show you the spot. So you see the the video, the visual of what it is that they're choosing the music for. And then two, three, sometimes four different music options that they're considering and the process of how they choose which one and talking about different, like just what goes through their mind throughout that whole process. Yeah, that was a big thing for me. That's why I, um, I even had that idea for that panel because I wanted to learn more and have a deeper understanding of, about how songs are selected for those campaigns. So uh, we, like I've said, we split it up into two panels. So um, I'll be moderating the case study in marketing and games. And so we'll dive into that. And then we'll have Stephen Nalbert from Round Hill. He's going to be moderating the film and TV case study. So, And these are panels that, like I said, we benefit from friends benefit from, artists, people who even aren't necessarily in the niche music world, but it's just such a cool thing to see that process of. And like, I've had artists that I've recommended attend this panel that are just blown away about the process of what it is that we do and what it is that the supervisors do on a daily basis and how that process is. Absolutely. So. Managers, it's good for them to know so they know whether or not their artist music is going to work for a sync. Yeah, and sometimes it's not necessarily the song didn't work. The three songs that sometimes they show are all amazing and all could work. And yes. So, so it's, true. Just, it's just seeing like what it is that's the nuance of why they chose something or, yeah, it's just a really cool, really cool in-depth experience to kind of see, so. Yeah, so we're excited for those tomorrow. So definitely make sure that you go to nashvillefilmfestival.org and get your VIP music badge, which like we've said a couple of times now, but that $65 gets you into so many different things for our music program. Yeah, it includes all the panels and everything tomorrow, but also everything that you missed already from today, you'll be able to rewatch. And what's so great about this is because it's a virtual festival, you actually get access to everything for the full two weeks of the festival. So if you miss a panel or just are really busy or if you have kids at home and you're homeschooling, you can watch them anytime in the next two weeks. So don't feel the need to like time it out and be there right at the time that it airs. You can watch it anytime. So we're excited for our next performances and yes, stay tuned. Stay Enjoy. Tuned. I'm so excited to introduce this next performer. Her name is Kishana. Not only is she a super talented musician, but she's also a really incredible human being. She started her career writing songs for music therapy with students and in prisons. And after that experience, she decided that her voice needs to be a vessel for those that feel lost, silenced, forgotten, or are hurting. We are thrilled to represent her here at Whizbang, and we hope you enjoy this next song. It's called Same Blood. Trying to wash his hands free of the blood and the pain Gotta tell his children why we kill each other How after 2,000 years we still live this way In the home of the brave, in the land of the free If you're telling the truth, you got enemies But it don't matter what you believe, no, no we all bleed the same blood We all bleed the same blood, same blood We all bleed the same blood, same blood, same blood Care 
carry the sins of our fathers for years We've learned how to hate and we've learned what to fear Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Can I do all the bad that's been done? Can't put that bullet back in the gun All you can do is try to love someone, yes That was Kashana and Same Blood. We hope that you really enjoy that performance and that message does ring true for us because we all do bleed the same blood. Hello, my name's Tolan Shaw. This is a song called Two Left Feet about being the very awkward guy at the dance club. Spinning round my head 
I feel the bass pulsing in my chest My feet are moving but they feel like lead And all I'm thinking about is my bed Everybody's trying to impress Everybody's judging everybody else Does anybody really wanna be here? Does anybody really wanna be here? Uh, I'm feeling like I got two left feet my mind says go, but I can't catch the beat My mouth is falling and my eyes can't see I'm feeling like I got to left feet Oh, 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 oh And two left feet Oh, 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 I close my eyes and think It's all replaying in my head Hey, I'm feeling like I got to left feet My mind says go but I can't catch the beat My mouth is falling in my eyes can't see I'm feeling like I got two left feet, eh? I'm feeling like I got two left feet My mind says go but I can't catch the beat My mouth is foaming and my eyes can't see I'm feeling like I got two left feet Oh, 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 oh Two left feet, oh, oh Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so fun. Tolan, it's always such a pleasure. The looping just gets me every time. It's so much fun to hear live music and to be a part of this. Um, again, my name is Liz Rogers. I'm at Anacrusis. And I'm Rio Van, and I'm with Symphonic Distribution, and we distribute Tolan's music. I'm Tolan. I'm, I'm with Tolan Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> Tolan, uh, tell us a little bit about your next single that's going to be coming out. Uh, I have a song called All Over the World. And it's coming out on October 16th. It's featuring Jackie Castro, who is awesome, another pop artist here in town. And we're really, really excited about it. Yeah, and that song was actually written at one of our sync camps. We work with Tolan really closely on the sync side, and he's done a handful of our writing camps. And that one was written to Brief, actually, which is so fun to see songs that kind of come to life in that setting end up in an artist's hands and out to the world in a release fashion. So super fun. And you have so many more releases in the pipeline. Yes, it's been a cultivating kind of year. Um, I think starting January 2021, I'm going to start releasing a song a month, which is going to lead to an album in probably October or November. But it, the rest is secret. Top secret. <laughs> Top well, we secret. are super excited. Um, thanks again for being here with us and enjoy the rest of your festival. Hey, what's going on? I'm Sonso the Artist. This song's called Screenshot. I wrote it during quarantine with my friend Charlotte, and I, I brought it with me. Yo. I'm literally getting out of the bathtub. What's up? <laughs> Hilarious. Listen. I am in a session right now, and I'm. I just saw that video that you posted of Stevie, uh -huh. of her like whining, uh -huh. and I think we're gonna put it in the track. Can you like send me? <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> Can you like send me the video? Yes. Oh my god, I'm star. <laughs> oh my god, you have to send it to me. All right, cool. Yeah, just just send it to me, and I'll let you know how it comes out. Coming to you live from Acme Feed and Seeds. 
Shine so. Hey, little mama. Hey, little mama. Sweet young thing. Sweet young thing. Anything you want, I got it. You want, I got Ain't it. no strings attached. Yeah. I just gotta tell you, baby girl, you a problem. You a problem. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I think I'ma take a chance, yeah. Yeah. Cause every time you post something like this. Shorty on TikTok, Shorty on TikTok. Ain't got no man. Whoops. No man. On time, no wristwatch. Right on time. And she bust that dance. She bust that dance. She, she bring, bring it down, down, down low. Hey, bring it back up. She bring it down, down low. You've been looking fresh enough to screenshot. Hey. Damn, you got the drip, you got the freeze pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She bring it down, down low. Bring it back up. Look, she bring it down, down low. But bring it back up. Look. Got them throwing bands when you sweet talk. Make a grown man wanna eavesdrop. You got me stupid the way you be breaking the internet. I can't pretend my intentions are not to be bending your body to benefit. Girl, you a 10.8. We could be friends on the screen like we Rachel and Ross. Matching the Michelin nest. Slow Millie rocking your body, my chain on the chest. We be the best of the best. Bust it down. She bring it down, down, way down. Bring it back up. Down, down, way down. Bring it back up, yeah. Looking fresh enough to screenshot Yeah, she bring it down, down low. She bring it down, down low. You've been looking fresh enough to screenshot. Damn, you got the drip, you got the freeze pop. Yeah, yeah. She bring it down, down low. She bring it down, down low. That was Screenshot by Sansel the Artist. For licensing, contact Resonate. Sansel, tell us what's next. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for having me uh, here. Acme Feed and Seed and Natural Film Festival and Liz and the whole team. Super honored to do that. Um, obviously, during quarantine, it's a little difficult to put things like this together. So I'm super grateful just for being able to work on uh, sync music and have like amazing teams um, alongside of us to help us kind of have artists survive through really trying times. Um, what's next for me is just more music. Um, I produce and uh, do the majority of the stuff for the music. Um, and then I have like a ton of really amazing friends that write and help me produce and work on other stuff. So um, quarantine has been just a lot of hours in the studio working on projects and trying to be ahead of the game a bit um, instead of taking the lull time. So working on new music for sync, for just my you know personal releases and projects and things like that. So I'm, I'm just really excited to do more. So what's next is just like more music, more stuff. Love it. I know the world's excited about that. Look them up. Sansel the Artist. Peace. Thanks for joining us tonight. We had so many great performances. It was really, I mean, what I really an amazing enjoyed evening. it. Oh and being gosh. able to see live music again. Oh, I know. I've missed live music so much. And even <laughs> though it's virtual, it is still just such a, it's such a great way to experience music. Yeah, and help these artists get exposure because we can't tour right now. It's tough for so many people. But um, tomorrow we have a great lineup. We have so many great panels. We have another showcase, 7 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you tune in and um, great. Yeah. Yep. Have we'll a good see night. you tomorrow.